What is Jesus worth to you? This morning when I was getting ready, I looked over to my bookshelf and I saw a book called Radical by David Platt. If you haven't read it, it's a great book. On the back of this book, it has the description um, and a small detailed summary of what the book is about. But in large font, it has the question, what is Jesus worth to you? And when I saw that this morning, it, it got me thinking, what is Jesus worth to me? What am I willing to do for Jesus? What have I given up for Jesus? How am I living a life that is worthy of Jesus, that is worthy of the gospel? And as I thought about that longer and longer, I was like, man, I'm not always living a life worthy of Christ. I'm not always living a life that is in Christ. In that moment, I was convicted. Because if I'm being honest, there's times that I do things that are fleshly, that are not in Christ. And so I, I asked myself, okay, well, this is the problem. The problem is that I'm not fully submitting to Christ. Now, what's the solution? Well, I believe we find the solution in the scripture. Matthew 10, verse 39. Whoever finds his life will lose it. This is saying whoever is trying to make their life, whoever is trying to fill their life with themselves, will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake, this is Christ speaking, so whoever loses his life for Christ's sake will find it. I think that's the solution. In order to find our worth in Christ, we must desire Christ. We must seek out Christ. And how do we do that? We do that by reading His Word, by praying, by spending time in God's presence. I know those are simple things, and we can all say that, say, oh, I'm going to spend time in the Word today. But are we actually spending time in the Word? Are we actually observing the Word? Are we actually praying to God? Are we actually doing those things? Or are we just passively doing these things? I mean by passive, I mean reading the scripture and moving forward without it applying to our lives. Are we actually digging in and figuring out what the scripture means and how it can transform our lives? Are we praying to God asking, God, I need you to transform my life. I need you to renew my life. Are we doing that? Because if we're not, if we're trying to fill our life with all these other things in life and try to piece it together ourselves, then we're going to lose it, as the scripture says. Now, if we are in Christ, if we've been regenerated, then we have the hope and the assurance of being in Him. But if we're not in Christ, we don't have hope or assurance. So that leads to my previous question, the question that David Platt asks on the back of his book. What is Jesus worth to you? I want you to think about that. Pause the video. Stop. Think. What is Jesus worth to me? What am I willing to set aside? Maybe we need to set aside our friends. Maybe we need to set aside our music preferences. Maybe we need to set aside some life goals that we have that are not lining up with what God wants us to do? It's a hard question because we enjoy our flesh. We enjoy living in our sinful desires. Our natural state is to be fleshly. Our natural state is to be rejecting God. Our natural state is inclined to sin. And it takes Christ regenerating that, renewing that, to for us to be able to desire Him. So ask that question. What is Christ worth to you? What is Jesus worth to you?